that's pretty hideous. <laughs> <laughs> What's up you guys my name's Ali and welcome to my channel so for today's video I went thrifting again but it wasn't what you think guys I wasn't really going thrifting for myself I was more going thrifting for you so I had this maybe not so bright idea that I would try to find some ugly things at Goodwill and see if I could style them and before we get into everything, I just want to say, if you find any of these things not ugly, that's great. You know, that's totally fine. These are just things that are not personally my taste, especially just by looking at the hanger. I've not tried any of these things on yet, so they might look a little bit better on. Hopefully they look a little bit better on. But in my mind, I'm assuming that I probably will just either turn around and donate them again, or like if anyone in my family likes any of them, I'll just give them to them. So I wasn't really getting these things to like add to my wardrobe, but if something works out, you know, all the better. And everything I got was half off, and I don't think I paid more than $2 for anything. So that is something to keep in mind. Like if something turns out okay, then cool, I paid two bucks for it, I'm not mad. The first thing I got was this like, Hawaiian shirt, dad shirt looking thing. And for me personally, there are several things that make this not an ideal item to pick up and wear. Number one, I don't like button ups. You will find like maybe one button up in my closet and I'm probably gonna get rid of it because I don't wear it. I just don't like that fit on me. I'm not a huge fan of a collar. As you can see by what I'm wearing, I like very um, feminine pieces. Obviously like any piece can be feminine, but I like the girly flouncy sleeves. I like floral, we know I love floral. I just am not drawn to collared shirts. I'm also not drawn to brown ever. Um, I'm not sure that I own anything in brown, except maybe like a skirt. I just don't like it. It's probably my least favorite color. And I'm just not, a huge fan of the pattern you know I mean I guess there is some floral on it so that's a redeeming grace for me but um, overall I don't really like this like very much pattern don't like the color and I don't like the style so we'll see um, how I like it on here we have the brown not cute button up I chose to style it over a just black dress, kind of like a fancier dress. This didn't come together exactly as I would hope, although I did not really have much hope for this particular piece, but I was kind of thinking like nicer night out in Hawaii vibes, like wearing kind of a nicer dress and then kind of throwing a more like dad Hawaiian type shirt over top of it. I don't know. I mean, maybe for like another person they would like this. This just really is not my style. Like I definitely would not wear this out. I just really didn't know how else to style this because I didn't want to just like style it with jeans. But um, this is my attempt. So let me know what you think or don't, that's okay. So this next shirt does have some redeeming qualities on it. I actually, as you might guess, like I'm a little boho. I don't mind this like pattern on the front. I don't mind the color either. The thing that I don't like about this shirt is the fit. So as you can see, it's that awkward, like comes below your butt a little bit. Like, I don't know, we'll see how this looks on, but it just, it's not very flattering on most body types unless you're like very, very slim. I'm definitely pretty curvy naturally. So I just do not think this is going to be flattering on at all. This is something that perhaps in another video I could try and do like some DIY, like maybe crop it. I don't know. Cause I, like I said, I really don't hate um, this pattern and I don't hate the color. I just really don't like the fit of it. So we'll see how that goes. I'm really not sure how I'm going to style this cause I think it's just going to look really bad on me. We'll see. All right. So I don't actually, <laughs> hate this as much as I thought. This is definitely like a weird fit, this shirt. If I pull it all the way down, you know, it's just 
it's just weird. This was like peplum before peplum was in. So I kind of just hiked it up a little bit and I'm wearing it with high-waisted black jeans. It definitely is not the most flattering. It's kind of sad because if this like just drawstring thing wasn't there, it would be a lot better. And that's about all I had to say about that. I'm trying to think where I would wear this outfit. Yeah. I feel like this would definitely have been like a cute going out outfit back in the day. You know, maybe you'd go out and get some Maxidermas, rest in peace Maxidermas. Um, just like a chill day out. You know, you're not too worried about looking too good. Maybe you're out with the girls, whatever. If you're just wearing your little thing, maybe you got a little purse. You're good to go. So next we've got what I would dub like the 2005 I just started my first professional job look and that would be this polka dot like very stretchy material I feel like this was super in in the 2000s a really quite a loud print and I'm not opposed to a loud print really I just am not a huge fan of red I'm not a huge fan of polka dots normally it has this kind of like ruffle detail which again if it was a different shirt, maybe I wouldn't dislike it. But all of this in combination makes me not like it very much. And I genuinely am not sure at all how I'm gonna style this, but we'll see how it goes. So I styled this shirt. I do have to say, even though I don't mind many things about this, I don't like it in totality. So like, I don't mind the ruffles. I don't mind this like stretchy 2000s material. I don't even mind polka dots, but I just don't really like this top. I can't put my finger on what I really don't like about it. But I actually paired it with this like blue pencil skirt, even though it's a black and red polka dot. I kind of am into like mixing black and blue recently. And I don't really hate this look for like someone else. I just don't know if I would ever wear it. I don't even really wear puzzle skirts. Like I think I've literally worn this one time. I'm trying to get more into it, but it's just not very comfortable for me. I like more of a flowy vibe, but here is how I styled it. Let me know if you like it. Let me know if you want it. <laughs> All right, next we've got what my mom and sister dubbed the Lorelei Gilmore shirt. And I'm definitely sensing like a theme of the clothes that I got and that is the early 2000s which is not my favorite era of clothes. I just feel like nobody really looked their best <laughs> during that time. But you know we've got like a bedazzled deer antler shirt and actually I didn't notice this. I might not have got it otherwise but we've got um, a girls with guns little logo on the back. We've also got a bedazzled GWG girls with guns on the sleeves. I'm not making a political statement. Um, I just really didn't think this was very cute. I think this does definitely look like a Laura like Gilmore shirt though. Like she could pull it off. I am not confident that I can pull this off. So we've got our girls with guns shirts. And I was going to try to be unique with this, but then I thought, you know, if I was actually going to wear this, how would I wear it? And of course I would wear it with slightly ripped jeans. These are mid-rise, the bedazzled antlers are definitely placed in an awkward position. I'm sure purposefully done, but would make me very uncomfortable to wear out in public. But you know, if I were to wear this, if I had to wear this, it would probably be on the four-wheeler, maybe doing that kind of thing, maybe like finishing up the night with some s'mores and like borrowing my husband's car cart. Like that's how I envision a day in this outfit going. Maybe a horse ride in there. I like horses. Okay, the last shirt I got, I genuinely thought was a swimsuit at first when my sister picked it out for me. It's that same like stretchy material that that red and black polka dot shirt was. And again, it's very 2000s. I feel very much like Hilary Duff in the Lizzie McGuire movie, going to find Paolo or something like that. Like this truly turned into a 2000s haul <laughs> and that was not my intention. But um, again, brown. I don't like brown. I just really don't like brown. It does have a bit of a flattering cuff. It has like these little cap sleeves with the slit, which could be very interesting. 
it's not terrible it's just really not what i normally am drawn to again i'm normally drawn to things like this <laughs> so for this shirt i just went for it right i just went full lizzie mcguire and while i don't think i would ever wear this out like I, I just feel like I'm back in the 2000s. Like if I was a little bit older in the early 2000s, like perhaps I would wear this. I don't know. This is actually very comfortable. Even though this material is like very odd and I do feel like I'm wearing a swimsuit in some ways, it's very, very comfortable. My broad back loves this shirt. It is a pretty flattering cut. I wish it wasn't brown, but like, I don't know. See, I'm very 2000s. Maybe I'll keep this shirt just to wear for like a theme night or something like that. Like, you know how you go out to trivia night or whatever and they say, it's 90s night, it's 80s night, it's 2000s night. Like maybe I will wear this outfit for 2000s night. I don't know, I don't hate it, but I, I definitely wouldn't wear it like on a normal day. All right, and then the last thing I got is this and what is this you might be asking i asked myself the same question but this is in fact a skirt and this is in fact an extra large i don't know if you can tell i feel like the camera is making it look bigger than it is but this will most likely not cover my butt we'll see <laughs> i kind of thought maybe i could restyle it as a tube top but just for kicks and gigs i'll try and style it as um a skirt Okay, so this was my attempt to class up this skirt a little bit. As you can see, it uh, barely covers the bum. And I put this like little dressier top with it. Did not go quite as planned. I feel like it just looks like I'm about to audition for like Bad Teacher 3 or whatever they're on with that. Which is never really the look I'm going for uh, to each their own but not really the look I'm going for. I did try to style this as like a tube top and it just felt terrible. It doesn't feel so bad on my legs, but like it just was like digging into my armpits because it's not meant to be a tube top and the material is just like not it. So um, this is as it's intended to be. I guess you could also wear kind of like an oversized t-shirt and tie it up and like give it a little grungier look. That would be kind of cute. Honestly, I just would never wear this. It's very short. You would get major chub rub in the legs. It's just not the look for me. Thanks so much for watching, guys. It did not turn out quite as badly as I thought it would. I don't know. I'll like think about if I want to actually end up keeping anything. I have a feeling like I'll keep a few items in my closet and then I'll probably end up donating them when I do my next like closet declutter. It did go better than I expected. I think I can safely say that. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. I make videos every Monday and Friday about thrifty fashion, vlogs with my family, all different kinds of things. So if you like that kind of stuff, make sure to stick around. Thanks again for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.